Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. Subscribe, like, comment, all those things. Follow me on Instagram, across all social media. I am at I am CC Suarez. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, those places too. My merch is linked down below. Commentary playlist is up there. Let's go ahead and get into it. Today we are reacting to a beautiful, perfect, definitely not culty zoom call that i snuck into so let's go ahead and watch that again though but it was a big birthday for her it was a, her fifth birthday and i'm just so grateful so many ranks so many people growing um like jasmine was saying we're back in momentum thank god and you all need to remember that no business is constantly just going to be in momentum forever so when the retracement period comes which had happened the last two months to me, all the people that left, I see it as my business cleaning itself. I see it that the people that are taking that, that believe in this, that really want to make this work. Those are the people that stayed. And I am so happy and grateful that that's the case, because like I always say that I want to run with the runners, the runners want to run with the runners, not just me. The runners want to run with the runners. Like I don't relate to people that don't take this seriously. I don't. I relate to the Jasmines, to the Stevs, to the Lanas, to the runners, to the ones, to the Carlas, to the Minas, the ones that show up every single day. I relate to those people. So that is the people that we want to run with. So if you had people on your team not working, not really seeing the vision, not really putting in the work that you feel like you're putting, don't be upset. Don't try to revive a dead body. Don't waste your energy on people that don't want to work. Focus your energy on you, on your content, on your business, and attracting the right market partners. Remember, guys, you need to be the market partner that you want to attract, okay? You really need to remember that. You know how I attract so many amazing, self-efficient leaders? Because I was an amazing, self-efficient leader. I never asked anybody anything because I had no one. You know, and Jasmine, I think I trained her twice or three times at the most. If anything, she trains me. Self-efficient leader, Lana, ran through the ranks, self-efficient leader, Stephanie, director, self-efficient leader, you know, so it, it, maybe you don't want to be self-efficient and that's fine because you have us and we'll help you, but make sure that you know that this is your business business yes we have systems yes we have an amazing community yes we have a lot of videos and you have a lot of help but at the end of the day we cannot literally go to your house and create content for you or study for you or reach out to people for you or be you know hosting potentials we can all the time you guys need to take responsibility this is not a job this is your business i said the last time but i'm going to say it again if you were all to open a boutique or a restaurant or a law firm or whatever you want right now wouldn't you have to go there every single day from six in the morning till god knows when you would have to be doing everything for that boutique opening inventory decorating cleaning shipping handling everything customer service right but here you don't have that you don't have a space is just you your social media and how much work you're putting behind cameras a lot of people go and show up for the gram yeah they pose like you want to you want to look like you're working but are you really working sounds like she's really being a present mom huh yikes like what, what do you mean you're working all day what does that even mean what does that even mean you're just posting on social media you're answering people's questions you're trying to recruit people like they act like this is working on social media but it's not meanwhile me i had two meetings today i filmed two videos already this is my third video and what else did i do today i had to go to guitar center to get um a piece of equipment walked three miles this morning i'm going like backwards i uh, took a shower answered a bunch of dms answered some emails and i'm gonna turn everything off at 7 p.m and i'm not gonna touch anything else and i'm gonna cook dinner for tony and probably watch a movie with him also though it's annoying that she's like no this is your own business you have to do this you have to do this no you don't you don't have to do it's a job it, you are a contracted employee you do not own anything but they tell you that you do so that you feel that pressure and so that they say that you can't blame anyone but yourself this is about to be real real infuriating i can tell can't wait and then i came back home and i still i worked till one in the morning so i think we went live like at 12 30 right i already went live i already got two market partners today you be you need to outwork the people that what is it you're what is it what's that quote say you gotta you gotta outwork us pretty much you gotta work me and jasmine okay you who's gonna work harder drop a eight in the chat if you're gonna outwork me and jasmine don't be scared. You can do it. <laughs> 
I'll work me, baby. I would be the happiest human on earth if I stay as an AED and all of you people, all 392 of you would be SEDs. That's also not how that happens. That's not how that works. Because the more people who rank up under her, and if she still, you know, maintains like getting a consistent amount of people under her, like directly under her and, you know, meeting her minimum requirements, she would obviously rank up. Like that's not, not how it works. I want to keep stopping like every five seconds. So I need to get my, my notebook out and ready so that I can, you know, Take some notes. I'll be the, take it away. I'll sh like, I'll work me. I want the light on you guys, okay? But anyway, happy first of the month. I mean, I'm so excited that we have the new product packs for skincare. That's absolutely amazing. So make sure that you're sharing. Share before and afters. After this call, get on camera. Guys, we have new product packs. Now you can just join this business by being a skin consultant, whatever. Um, figure it out. But anyway, we're going to do an onboarding for all of you that are new. Welcome to the fam. My name is Christy Stone, and I'm your girl. Post this, this, this. Just figure it out. You sound like a great leader. You sound like a really, really great leader. Oh my God. Also, Monate's uh, prices for everything are increasing, but their prices for their starter kits are increasing. Um, their prices for their starter kits are increasing by, I think, like 20 to 30%. It's crazy. It, it's insane. Friend, and you just joined the most amazing business community journey of your life. This business has changed so many lives, including mine and Jasmine's, and we're so, so grateful and happy that you're here. Um, we are starting bootcamp today. This is the start, the starting of the bootcamp. But today's only call that's gonna be at noon. Tomorrow till Saturday, all the calls are gonna be at seven in English and eight in Spanish. Okay. We already have a flyer going on. If you don't have it, go on your chat, ask because we have it. And it's gonna be the same link every night. So make sure that you're taking notes, even if the even if the trainings that were given this week, you already heard a million of times, hear them again and take notes again. And I'll tell you why. Remember, this business is not about what you know, it's about what you can teach. Okay, you always need to be a student, always. And when you hear the same training from different people, you, you always pick something up. Like you always, you get something and it helps you. That's how I um, became such a good trainer, you know, and I'm still not the best, but I've gotten so much better, guys. If you would have seen me on my first few trainers, you, you would have felt, you would have felt so bad for me. You would have cried. Um, but make sure that you're always taking notes and you're always willing to learn from other people because at the end of the day, you, you have to train eventually, right? It's about what you can teach to others. Don't be depending for your upline to be training all the time. Like you guys have to get to it as well. But today, me and Jasmine are going to go over the vision, um, like always. So you have to train. You can't just sign up and sell the product, even though that is what they preach and promote and what they tell you that you can do. They are going to push you and push you and push you to recruit people and then to train them. But then if, if the person that's training you is giving you misinformation and telling you all this bullshit, then if you're just copying what they did and what they taught you, then it's just that misinformation is going to spread faster than the Delta variant. Like it's going to be ridiculous. Was that too soon? Whatever. We're fine. We vaxxed. Not these girls. These girls aren't. We're going to go over um, the onboarding and then she's going to go over social media. So make sure you take notes. One thing a lot of people tell me, a lot of my leaders tell me all the time is that I'm really good at painting the vision. I don't really know how, cause I really don't, don't I, I haven't seen myself speak and I don't know how I sound, but I'm going to do it again. So maybe you guys can learn how I paint the vision. So pretty much on all my calls that I have, I always remind everyone what an amazing opportunity. Like we have a lottery ticket in our hands, literally right now, as you guys know, I'm looking for an assistant, right? So Alana's assistant signed me up to this website where people are like applying to be my assistant. And the resumes that I'm getting guys from nurses, from lawyers, from people that have a career, from people that went to college that have a good job, you know what? And then I, they get on interviews with me and I tell them, I'm like, I need someone full time. Like, what do you do? And they tell me I'm a nurse, I'm a lawyer, I'm this. And I'm like, why the hell do you want to be my assistant? Like, I'm just curious. I, I want to know. And it's because they're miserable. They hate their job and they're like, and, and then people that know me, because a few people do know me, they're like, Christy, you just have so much time freedom. And I'm sick and tired of seeing people, um, you know, all these people online living the best life and I'm stuck at an office or I'm stuck in traffic or I'm not, I'm not able to be with my, with my family or just have the freedom that I want. So I want all of you to know that, yes, we have been programmed to think 
that we have to go to college and we have to get married and we have to she has so much time freedom yet she has to work while she's at her daughter's birthday and has to do a call at midnight got it cool like girl what are you talking about we have a lottery ticket and then she said that she's hiring people she's accepting applications for people to be her assistant and their lawyers and doctors and blah 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 and they want to be her assistant because she has so much time freedom it's not going to be your life if you're her assistant if you're you typically if you're someone's she just said she needs someone full time typically if you're someone's assistant you are going to be working a fuck ton i will probably not ever get an assistant but they would be they would be working probably 40 hours a week so and i mean yeah sometimes i mean no probably not 40 hours anyways that's just like you're talking about two completely different things and it's so dumb to have babies and we that's the only way you're going to be happy and successful and that is not true if you don't want babies don't have them okay i mean i love my babies but i'm saying you don't have to go to college and you don't have to do these things to be successful at the end of the day even if you're already successful and content good more power to you but every millionaire has at least seven sources of income why are you guys relying on one and like the fact that you have this business, a chance to be trained by millionaires, by mentors, by people that have, 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 have the success that you want, why wouldn't you take full advantage and just run with it? You know, just run with, with this amazing opportunity. This is a baby. This company is a baby. It's Most millionaires have seven sources of income. Okay. So, so I have certain investments. I have AdSense, which is YouTube. Like what I get paid from YouTube and merch. Did I already say sponsorships? So it's four, right? Four. Oh, and affiliate links. Yeah. So I have five. And I don't think, I don't think the people that they are targeting, like most of them probably have one and that's fine. But then they're saying, you don't have to go to college. You don't have to work a nine to five. You don't have to do this. And if you're happy, whatever, but then you should have all these other streams of income. So why not get Monate? So why not sign up for Monate and run with it? Run with it means put more energy into this, which you are not guaranteed money from. And don't get me wrong. I mean, I have certain investments. I understand I'm not guaranteed money from that, but they're pretty, they're pretty good investments. It's just so dumb. It just, it makes no sense because they, they want you to, when they're, it's like, it keeps changing and evolving. So when they first talk to you, it's like, oh, I have all this freedom. I do this, that, whatever. Okay. Well, what do you actually do? Oh, well, here's, money whatever and then i'm signing you up okay well you can do it part-time oh that's fine and then you say oh, well hey i'm not really making any money well you have to recruit people you didn't tell me how to do that you said that all i had to do was sell the products well like really if you want to make the money you're talking about you need to recruit people okay so i'm gonna recruit like two people okay well those people quit or i can't recruit anyone no one wants to do this or like people are unfollowing me like i'm losing friends like all this shit it just gets more and more and more and more like the story keeps changing and it's always like the goal or the the treasure that they talk about is like always slightly out of reach it's like well you have to do this instead you have to do this instead you have to do this instead i still can't believe that this girl's still aed she's not even scd yet this is crazy i'm not even kfc yet it sounds delicious only six years old we're going global you guys do know that this year we're opening to three more countries right three more you guys when i joined it was only two countries right now we're in five and we're we're soon we're going to be in eight and every year we're going to drop two more three more two more three more this year we could in 2020 because of covid but get excited she has children shouldn't she understand that a baby is not six years old that's not a baby that's a grown-ass kid with weird buck teeth my niece right now has like one big buck tooth and i had that when i was little my brother and my sister would call it chomper yeah they named my big one buck tooth it was rude but Look how pretty I am now. I sure showed them. Imagine where we're going to be in the next five to 10 years. The time is going to pass by anyway. Remember, we have amazing top of the line luxury vegan products. Everyone's on their vegan tip. Everyone wants the newest, the latest. Our packaging is amazing. And this community, this community is like no other. It's very admirable for people to see people supporting one another. You know, people, I, I, people come to me and they're like, Christy, I just want to have the community that you have. I want the friends that you have. This is amazing. You guys, the fact that we get to surround ourselves with people that believe in us, the root for us more. Does everyone want vegan products? Like, yeah, sure. I, I, I guess that's good, but I feel, like, I feel like a lot of people don't really care about that. Like if a product isn't vegan, it's not going to deter me from buying it, which I know a lot of, I, I'm probably a shitty person for saying that, but I also eat meat. So what the fuck's the point? You know, anyways, um, these aren't luxury products. They're overpriced. Just because something is expensive doesn't mean it's luxury. You know, you know, it's amazing. And this community, 
this community is like no other. It's very admirable for people to see people supporting one another. You know, people, I, I, people come to me and they're like, Christy, I just want to have the community that you have. I want the friends that you have. This is amazing, you guys. The fact that we get to surround ourselves with people that believe in us, that root for us more than we root for ourselves, more than we believe in ourselves sometimes. That's why- But if she just continued to say like more and more and more occulty things, we get to be around this like family. Everyone just like believes in you and like no one second guesses anything you say. And we all burn the Monate logo into our hips. What? What? Nothing. Nothing. Let me sniff your hair. Shut up about my business. I am so proud of what we do. I'm look. I remember I would tell Stephanie when the money, money gear dropped. I told Stephanie, this was like a year and a half ago. I'm like, I'm never going to wear those clothes. Ew. Ever. <laughs> I will never wear the money hat or the shirt. Now I am so freaking proud and I'm so obsessed. And if you're new, you might think I'm crazy. But yes, I am freaking crazy. Okay. I love what I do so much. This is so life changing. And I want this for all of you. But in order for you to do that, once again, you need to put in that work. Then. Okay, here, I, ju I just thought of this. Listen, are you listening? Listen, so yes, it's changed her life, brought her a lot of money, and she's very happy about that. I don't doubt that she wants other people to be able to like have that level of happiness too. For instance, my life has changed this year so much. I quit my full-time job in February. I do this full-time and I've, I'm so thankful to y'all and all my old subscribers and new subscribers and the sponsorships I've been able to land and I'm just eternally grateful. And obviously I work my ass off, right? And even a great example, a great example of like something I couldn't have done before. And then like now that I can do, one of my friends sent me links to like certain things that I need for a uh, project that we're working on, I guess I could say. And it came out to like $800. And I was just like, oh God. Okay, bye now. Like I, I could never do that before. Not only because like I was like a little bit more stingy with my money and not saying I'm blowing things now, but now I'm like, okay, no, this one, it's a fucking business expense, but also like I'm, I'm doing well and I love that. And I love not having to second guess myself. And most of my stress ever was always from money and, you know, not, you know, and having debt and having to pay so much over to credit cards every month. But I paid off all of my debt like a month and a half or two months ago, which is fucking crazy to me. So I, I understand that aspect of this and like being excited about it and like wanting other people to feel that as well and to like grow. Like when I see other people grow, like when I see Savannah Marie get that Verb Energy sponsorship, I love that. When I see Isabella or Deanna, you know, get a sponsorship or do well or get reposted or, you know, have someone they like love comment on their stuff. I get so excited because I'm like, hell yeah, like this could be big for you. Like, let's go. Like I, I love seeing other people grow like that. But the difference is it's is that my income is not based on me wanting other people to do good, right? It has nothing to do with me. Like she wants other people to do well and experience this and all that, meaning she wants to recruit them onto her team, but that's what she benefits from. I hope that made sense. I know I say it all the time and I'm just a broken record at this point, but always look at the motive. Motive is so important, so important. Please pay attention to motive. Do that. Once again, you need to put in that work that no one sees you do. What are you doing when you get off these calls? What are you doing? Are you cold messaging? Are you hosting your power hours? Are you taking the time to take your social media seriously? Another thing that I'm starting to do, which I love for all you leaders out there, I actually learned this at GoPro, is to trade my time. A lot of people are coming back. You know, it's a new year. A lot of market partners from last year that didn't work. And they're like, Christy, okay, fine. I want to do this. I'm ready for my one-on-one. -on -one. And then I go to their page and they haven't cleaned it. They haven't posted anything for months. They haven't, they, they have no stories. It, some of them are private. I'm like, girl, I'll talk to you. I'll train you when you show me a little something. I'll train you if you go live. I'll train you if you clean your page. I'll train you if you, um, I don't know, if you launch your business. So be smart with your time because I know that at first we want to baby everyone, but at the end of the day, you want those self-efficient people. You don't have... Um, like I say, we don't have a boss. Okay. So I don't, I actually don't disagree with that. Um, so for instance, I, some of y'all know I do like content creator coaching, I guess, creator coaching. And I do that for free and I'm very selective with it. And I don't, I don't charge for it, but also I have to actually like see that you one have already started on the platform. You have the potential to do really well because if you don't have the personality for it, you're not posting videos like you don't 
you're at square one. I'm like, no, I'm not going to waste my time. What? Or your time. Because realistically, I'm probably going to overwhelm you. And that's not good. <laughs> I'm not trying to terrify you. But yeah, so I, mean, I don't I don't necessarily disagree with that. But also when she says clean your page, if you have been a Monate, if you know what that means, leave it in the comments below. I'm pretty sure she means like clean, like clean up your Instagram page, like make it more aesthetically pleasing, I guess. I mean, I've I've done that. But also, it's kind of it's kind of weird that she would say that. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. This is your business, okay? But onboarding real quick for on you people. I know that you probably heard this a million times because I'm onboarding all the time, but let's get to it again. As you guys know, when you're new, you're sent an email with an onboarding with numbers, PV, GV, Smartstar, all of that. That you learn as you go, but the video is there. If every time I do an onboarding, it would be over numbers forget it. You guys will be overwhelmed and we'll be here forever. And actually numbers are not my favorite thing to talk about. So I just don't. My onboardings are pretty much making people my best friends. I always do onboardings one-on-one. -on -one. I get to know their why, where are you from? What are your kids' names? Blah, blah, blah. You know, that's like a 10 minute conversation. And then immediately we go into their why. Okay. Why do you want to do this business? Why, what is your, your motive? Like maybe it's you, maybe it's what, what could you do with an extra $10,000 a month? Put it that way. Okay, maybe you need to pay debt. Maybe you want a better car, better home, help your mom, help your dad. I don't know. But it's very, very important that you have your why very clear. If you haven't rewritten your why this year, 2021, please do it again. A book that I'm going to recommend is Get Over Your Damn Self. It pretty much speaks about your why. So it pretty much tells you that the only thing stopping you between you and your success is not having that motivation and that motivation is it's going to be your reminder every day and that is your why when we train when the leaders train yeah you're motivated you're like yeah i want to run i want to fly i'm excited but this feeling of motivation goes away but your why keeps you going you guys know the story of of me printing pictures of me as a little girl and I had them everywhere, those pictures would make me cry and it would keep me going every single day. So make sure that you read your why consistently. Another thing that I want to talk to you guys about is um, your manifesto, which is pretty much a, a detailed script of your future self. So what do you want out of this business in December 2021? Okay, and I want you guys to be very, very detailed about it. What rank do you want to be? Um, how do you look like? How do you feel? What car are you driving? How much more confident you are? How many people do you have in your team? What kind of leader are you? Like rewrite it and read it all the time. And then on the back of it, actually. Manifesto. What in the Ted Kaczynski Unabomber is going on here? Okay, so your manifesto is basically just your vision board, but like more specific and like, I guess, just for the year. And why is all of it? I don't want to say surface level, but why is this this lash like so straight? I hate that. That does not look better. Oh my god. It's just so weird. And don't listen, it's okay to have goals. You should have goals. If you don't have a target, you have nothing to aim at. You're just gonna miss every time. And yes, I did get that quote from the Marvel movie Shang-Chi, which if you haven't seen it, you definitely should. It is amazing. So good. So good. Uh but yeah, what? <laughs> What car are you driving? How many friends do you have? What? I thought this was about shampoo. And so basically onboarding is not about personal volume. It's not about how to rank up. It's not, you know, making a business plan, um, you know, plan of attack. It's not about GV, smart start, the bonuses, God forbid, the income disclosure statement. Um, it's her manipulating you and trying to make you love her and become obsessed with her so that you will do anything for her and you have to tell her your why so that she can continuously use that against you. Cool. What kind of leader are you? Like rewrite it and read it all the time. And then on the back of it, I actually got this from Daniela. On the back of it, you're gonna write all the things that you're willing to sacrifice for the next 11 months to become that best version of you in December, 2021. Is it Netflix? Is it drinking? Is it smoking? Is it hanging out with people that lower your vibration? Is it hanging out with people that are toxic? Is it hanging out with people that make you feel insecure? I said this last week, but I'm going to say it again. A lot of us are trying to, you know, justify people that we've known for so long, people that don't add to our future, people that we're like, no, but that's my best friend since high school. No, that's my cousin. No, that's my. That sounds extra toxic. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> my god like 
I just, that's so sad. Also, what the hell are you talking about? People who lower your vibration, lower your frequency. I'm not a microwave. Since high school, no, that's my cousin. No, that's my boyfriend. Like, listen, you, you're not here to save anyone. You need to save yourself and then you inspire them. Okay. I held so much because I was holding on to people that I love for so long and I didn't want to let them go. But you need to walk through the door first by yourself. Not everyone's going to fit. And then you inspire them. Trust me. I've helped, like, I. I have inspired so many of my friends that I couldn't let go that didn't talk to me for, for a whole year because I was so obsessed with my name. They thought I was ridiculous. But guess what? Now they came around and now, and now I inspire them. And now they're growing with me in their own industries, not with network marketing, but they're growing with me because I inspired them. Does that make sense? Because I know a lot of people, like I said, you're trying to hold on to those friendships, those people that are, you love so much, but they're smoking every weekend. They're drinking and they don't have nothing to celebrate. I drink, I'm not going to talk shit, but I have a lot to celebrate, okay? Every single day. I don't drink every day, but I have a lot to celebrate every single day. My point is that you need to drop those people for a little bit. Tell them you love them, but tell them that you're in town, but you're not in town. That you need, you're going to focus on your business. You need to sacrifice, okay? Trust me, guys. I promise you, I kid you not. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I wish someone would have told me when I joined this business, no one ever told me this. If you take this profession seriously, if you put in the work at night and maybe early morning, then listen, I'm a big believer in that people come into your life for a reason and sometimes for a reason just for a specific purpose and just for a small amount of time or a medium amount of time and then vice versa. Sometimes God just needed to, or whatever, whoever, whatever the universe, I don't care, needed you to help someone with something and do something for someone. This whole, like I'm, I'm okay with like that type of ideology, that's fine. But this, cutting people out of your life because you can't be successful with them in your life or leaving them behind for a while. Like there's a difference between hustling and like kind of like not seeing people as much, like just being busy, that's different. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people in my life who are supportive of me, but still like don't really know what I do. And even when I'm like working really, really hard on something and even over the past few months, I mean, like we haven't really gone out a whole lot. You know, I haven't really been too social. I mean, I've seen my best friend maybe like 10 times this year, but that's just what happens. She gets busy. I get busy. I still love her. But I feel like this, what they're saying is just cut everyone out, cut everyone out who isn't 100% supportive of you. Like, that just doesn't seem right. And also, why do they have to be involved in what you do professionally? That shouldn't matter. I mean, think about it. When your friend is starting a new job and and you know, y'all's jobs aren't really on the same like level, are y'all just not gonna be friends or you're gonna have to not hang out with them because of that? No, because you keep those things separate. It doesn't matter. What you're doing professionally doesn't affect what they're doing professionally. That's how it should be. That's how normal life is. Yet with Monate. It's your entire life. It's everything. And if someone doesn't agree with it, they have to get out. You're in town, but you're not in town. That you need, you're going to focus on your business. You need to sacrifice, okay? Trust me, guys. I promise you, I kid you not. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I wish someone would have told me when I joined this business. No one ever told me this. If you take this profession seriously, if you put in the work at night and maybe early morning, then no one's paying you for at first. If you're willing to sacrifice, but I mean sacrifice for real, like sacrifice a lot, okay? You could be financially free in the next two years because it's happening to me. I have time freedom, I have financial freedom, and most importantly, I have personal freedom, which is the ability to be myself. I went from being someone that didn't love myself at all to now being my own freaking best friend. I literally walk by the mirror and I'm like, yes, girl, I freaking love you. You're the shit. <laughs> and and it, that's a lot for me, okay? Because I never liked myself ever. So I'm very, very proud that I'm able to do that. So just wanna want you all to know that if I'm able to do it and we're teaching you on how to do it, you can do the same. Now, Jazz, I want you to touch base on um, short-term goals and long-term goals, and then we keep going. Okay, uh, let me just go here. That was amazing, Christy. Honestly, you always do such an amazing job painting the vision and just letting everyone- Oh, by the way, there are 54 millionaires in money, guys. I mean, and they're training us. So why wouldn't you want to be trained by millionaires? At the end of the 
then you do become like the five people that you speak to the most. So it's just saying. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Woo, I'm out of breath. I just did some jumping jacks because. Oh my gosh. It's that WFABBB girls. The, the W Fab Fit Fun girls. The work from anywhere. Boss babes. The we're financially asses. But ballin' ladies. I don't really think it works with anything else. If you can come up with a better acronym for WFABB, like what it actually means, put it in the comments below. I feel Mark Ramos. He's going to win, obviously. I need to wake up. <laughs> if you guys would have seen behind the scenes, I'm like, you're doing jumping jacks. Um, okay, so short-term, long-term goals, okay? Super important to write down what your short-term goals are. So basically, you're this month. What do you want to hit? What rank do you, not even rank, what, what income is a good income for this month that will make you be like, wow, like this is good. Like I, I, maybe you want to pay off a car bill. Maybe you want to pay off, you know, a couple of bills. I don't know, like your phone bill, right? What, write it down and then talk to your upline on how to accomplish that goal. Okay. So short-term goal in this month, Okay. And then long-term goal, long-term goal is what would you like to make in the next six months? Right? So in the next six months, what would you like to make for me? When I first started, I gave myself six months to get to, I think it was MMM. Like it was a good, a big goal. I want you guys to aim high. If you are seeing a certain type of income, I want you to double that. Okay, because we want to dream big. You're allowed to dream big here. Okay, because things do, um, things are very possible when you dream big. Was she about to say because dreams do come true? She was about to say because dreams do come true. Uh, <laughs> Ma'am, stop. Like, you are not Cinderella. A dream is not a wish your heart makes. Like, what in the Jiminy Cricket? When you dream big. Okay, because even if let's say you don't hit that that goal in six months, you you're at least you aim for the what is it you aim for the stars, but at least you you landed on the moon, which is still really, really amazing. Okay, so um, in the next six months. Okay, so Monique says 10k a month. Okay, so now we gotta we gotta get on a on a call with your upline and get them to break down how you will be able to do that in the next six months right so for example like your first month is going to be maybe a hundred to five hundred dollars in your first month that is very doable so we can get you to mmp amb the goal is we are always aiming for mmb okay so even if it's five hundred dollars that you want to make in the month we're gonna double so she messed up the quote the quote is by norman vincent keel i believe is how you say his last name i'm probably butchering it and the quote is shoot for the moon even if you miss you'll land among the stars but like are you really among the stars because you're really far away from like from like all the stars except for the sun which is a star so even for the stars but even if you don't make that you'll you'll land on the moon what? That's still not good. I wasn't I wasn't aiming for the moon. <laughs> I'm still very far away from from the stars. So no, it's still not good. Ma'am, someone needs to take an astronomy class. Ugh. Right? So MMB is always the, the the rank that I'm always telling my girls to to aim for. And even though, like, let's say if you don't make it, at least you're going to land on AMB or MB or MMP, right? Because if we're only aiming for MMP for this month, it's a, it's a, it's a small rank, right? So you, we want to aim high, right? We want to go above and beyond, right? We want to dream big, right? Things happen here. And I'm going to tell you guys um, an example, for example, in, in WFAB, um, we had, I think about four or five AMMs pop out last month and they are all in the same organization and they not only hit AMM, they quadruple, quadruple ranked. They went from MMP to AMM. 
Okay, so, and that was them dreaming big, guys. That's why I'm saying- um, can, Come here, look at this. What do you think about those wires? That drives me crazy. It's driving me crazy watching this Zoom call right now. How do they do Zoom call? How do they live like this? Not bad, I've seen some people though. That's horrible. Is that a wire or is that- Yeah, that one is, that one is, that one is, and that one is. They're making so much money in Monet, but they can't pay someone to hang a TV correctly. Oh, well, it's hung correctly. It's, just... it's atrocious. It's very offensive. That would, God, that's like really bothering me. They're very, very possible here in this business. I don't want you guys to ever think that, oh, um, you know, it's halfway through the month and like I still haven't had results or this. Things happen in the last two days of the month, guys. Like, don't really wait, don't, don't wait, don't wait till last month. Yeah, do not, but that's what I'm saying. Don't wait till last month, but that's what I'm saying. Like, we, like, don't think that it's too late. Even if you, you're at the, on the 15th of the month and you feel like, oh, um, I haven't really done, like, done anything. No, we still have so much time, right? And we always say by the 15th, you want to get to your re-ranked to your rank right by the 15th so the next two weeks after that you have enough time to get to the next rank right and um something that i've, I've trained my girls is pb by the fifth okay pb by the fifth so that we get that out of the way we get the product sales out of, out of the way and then we can focus on building our team okay um the sex so some should i go into social media now or do you want to like kind of i just want to add all of you should be scheduling your one-on-ones with your uplines and your teams and remember if right now me and jasmine are directors i get to choose to only help my level ones and my level twos it's just because now that i don't love everybody it's just that i'm so busy that's what we have the team calls right but if you're new to the business just like I started my first year, you should be training your level ones, your level twos, your level threes, your level fours, and your level fives, because you never know who is going to bring who, who's a true runner. Guys, you have- So when she says level ones and level twos, does that mean pe the people right, that means people right under her, right? You, like you're level one. Yeah. And then level two and okay. I guess that kind of makes sense, but also- I mean, yeah, you're training them. They're training people under you. It's the brainwashed leading the blind over there. It's crazy. And also, they're both directors, but the girl that's sitting behind the Jasmine girl, her name's Dre or Dramus, and she hit like the mid rank, I guess. I don't know. It's, it was very confusing, their ranks. It's not confusing. I just always forget what the names are because I don't fucking care. But she had a rank and she's like so excited about it, made like all these posts. And then she posted a picture like a month or two. It might have been just a month later of her face down, like sliding off the couch. And it was because she didn't re-rank. Very embarrassing. Yikes. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. And I'm like, do you have three friends? Yes, I do. They sign up two other friends and you never know how that friend attracted that friend. And that friend is an influencer and she knows so a celebrity and boom, they're directors. Look at Greta. Greta started this with 107 followers. Right now she's almost at 11K and she makes five figures. She's a director and she speaks in only Spanish. Lavi, can you mute yourself, babe? Oh. <clears throat> so you never know who's going to know who and you never know who's going to be a runner. Guys, I had, I signed up this girl. She signed up this other girl and then she signed up Jackie. Jackie's one of my directors. The, the two girls in between me and Jackie, they don't work. But, but I build that. I build that leadership with Jackie because I was training my, when you're new, like I said, you train your level ones, your level twos, your level threes, your level four, until you cannot, till you can't reach them anymore. Not only is your team going to respect you and appreciate you, but you're making yourself duplicatable. And once again, you never know who's going to quit. And that runner you have the connection with, boom, they're going to work for you and they're going to trust you. That's exactly so, no. That's exactly how Michelle, one of, uh, we just popped out a new market mentor. Michelle just spoke to everyone in her organization. And that was her key thing is speaking to her level three, fours, five, seven. And, and you know what? I, I've been doing that as well too. Every Thursdays I have, um, my mentorship calls, which are run all day with anyone in my organization. 
and it's been helping a lot. So if you, and, and that's me being like, I, I'm like super busy. Like we're super busy. It's starting to get harder to train level fives, level fours and stuff. Yeah. Like you guys are at lower ranks. You guys are able to train everyone in your organization, right? So if I'm still opening up like at least once a week, um, time to train anyone in my organization, there is no reason why you shouldn't be training your organization. But like, if I'm my own boss, why are you training me? Why are you training me if I'm my own boss? Why? Why? Remember that level two leadership is the most important one. What is level two leadership? Is the the leadership where you, where you know your team. You they respect you and they love you and they listen to you because you know them. Remember, people are not gonna do what you tell them and people are not going to trust you if people don't know that you care. So you need to make those connections. That's the beauty of network marketing. And that's why I truly feel that women are better in network marketing because we actually care. It's not just like, hey, come here, let's make money like guys are. But it's like, hey, come here, let me help you. Let's be friends. Hey, come here, let's make money. And also let me gaslight you and manipulate you and edify you. I hate when they use that word. Disgusting. Also, working for yourself kind of sucks. I don't know why they always act like it's so great. Like I rarely know what day it is. It's Tuesday right now. I only know because I looked on my computer. That's why on my phone, on my main page, I have a widget that says really big what day it is <laughs> and the date under it because I never fucking know what day it is. I thought it was Wednesday today and then randomly today I thought it was Saturday. And then my friend Josh called me and he was like, all right, see you in a few days. And I'm like, well, I was like, but today is Saturday. You're not coming for like a week. And he's like, bitch, it's Tuesday. You know, it's like, oh shit. I mean, I guess that's why like they are obsessed with um, like planners and shit. I mean, I am too. And like, I have my content calendar and I mean, I do plan my stuff out pretty good, but like other stuff comes up, you know, and it's just a lot, but I don't know. I just, it's stupid. And I, they act like it's just so great to work for yourself. But when you actually do work for yourself, by yourself it's rough i mean like thank god i have other content creators who are like friends who i can like run stuff by and you know get a maybe not even like advice from but just like shoot the shit with them and like they get it i'm very thankful for that but yikes dude i know that not everyone's best friends but at the end of the day the community that we have is that we all respect each other we all root for one another clap for one another last night um everyone helped to last minute to get a scuttling to mmm by the way Congrats, babe. I don't know if you're here, but we did it and we did it together and it felt so amazing. And I know. Oh, really? You all did it together? How did, how, how did you all do it together to get someone to a rank if it's just based on their sales and their group sales and their team sales and all that? Hmm. It's the people buying stuff underneath them. That's what they do. Those in like those last few hours of the month, their group chats are fucking crazy. I know that whenever anyone needs help, we have one another, right? But anyway, um, I, like I was saying, schedule calls with your mentor. Like Jasmine was saying, know the rank that you want this month and next month, and then make a plan. You need to have it on paper, who you're going to work with, how many potentials you should be having, how many people you should be reaching out to, how many content days, how many live events, whatever it is, you need to start top rooting. That is something that I learned last week, actually. I had no idea what top rooting is. Remember that you need to network into your team's network. You need to start meeting people. Okay, like you need to start reaching out who are your three closest friends and who are their three closest friends and so on and so forth. And when someone tells you no, be like, okay, awesome. But do you know someone that could really use more money right now? Do you know a stay at home mom? Do you know a hustler? Maybe your cousin, that influencer, can you give me their number? Jack Jacqueline Ortega always says that most of her top leaders, they were referrals from other people. So don't be afraid to ask for referrals and what was I going to say? Know your numbers, know what rank you want to get to and start showing up like that rank. You guys, that's very, very important. You need to start showing up as the rank you want to be. I started showing up as an SED when I was market mentor. Mm -hmm. I was having a million calls. I was dressing like one. I was, how do you dress like an SED? All you, all you bitches dress the same anyways. Come on, come on. Talking like one. I was studying like one. I wanted to get there fast. So I started showing up. You know, and, and I was very, very busy. I'm still very busy because um, I saw in the chats that I only, 
I, I only do my level ones and my level twos. Guys, not only do I have kids, but I have a huge organization. I closed, I closed um, January with 79 active lines. Those are 79 level ones. And I train my level yeah, ones and my girl, level two. Show me the way. <laughs> it's all about value, you guys. Value, value. I don't know who saw my stories last night. And I was just very vulnerable. I was very grateful. I I I I was just me. And I said, DM me the world alpha if you want to run with me. You know how many DMs I have right now? Literally, like it's overwhelming. I have at least like, I don't know, maybe a hundred, but it's just because. I'm vulnerable. I'm real. I'm me. I don't give up what people have to say. What are they going to tell me? Like, I, that's the way I see. I'm like, what are you going to tell me? What, what are you going to tell me? No, like, no, no one can tell me anything. And that's just how you have to think. You have to be so proud of what you do and have such a clear vision of where you're going that you won't care because you know, you're going to get there. And when you get there, guess what? All those haters, all those people talking shit, all your boyfriend, your friends. But here's the thing is even if first of all you're why would your spouse be a hater why would your spouse be a hater no absolutely not no that's not okay but in this your spouse telling you hey i don't think that's a good idea i've read some things i've i know people like it's not an at-home business it's a pyramid scheme so no i don't support you joining this and yeah if they roast you rightfully so rightfully so and if you are married or engaged or live together and are in a very you know, a relationship where you split the bills and you share like what's yours is theirs or whatever, then yes, they should have a say in that. And it's not them trying to hurt your dreams because I'm sorry, is your dreams, is it being in network marketing? Is it selling shampoo? No, it's not. Whenever they say, oh, I'm, this was my dream. No, it's not. They're not letting my dreams come true. They're hindering my dreams. They're not being supportive of my dreams. Okay, well, what is your dream? To be financially free. Obviously, they agree with that. They want that for you too. They want that for themselves, but not by this means because it's not worth it. It's a waste of your time and you're not going to make as much money as they say you're going to make. They only want you to join and you to stay in and you to cut off all these people and to not listen to the haters and the facts and the statistics and the studies because they want you to be in an echo chamber. They want you to only listen to them and only pay attention to the information that they give you. They want to control the information. It's all about control and motive. Well, it's all about control because of the motive. So I'm not going to apologize for my rant because that was passionate. Yeah. Also though, when she's like, cause I'm vulnerable and I don't care. There's a difference between being vulnerable and then using it to manipulate someone weird. And she, that's a 79 people right below you. That's a huge organization. That's a very, that, that is a thick downline. That is a thick downline. Oh my God. Wow. You're, you know, the closest to you that are always hating, they're going to love you. They're going to love you even more. They're going to be inspired by you. And now everybody wants to be my best friend, right? I love it though. I'm not complaining, but I went through a lot to get here. Okay. Just saying that. So, okay. Now let's go into, you talk about goals, man also, manifesto. Yeah, why? I wanted to add also in order for this to work, you have to put yourself on social media. I feel like hundred percent. Um, a lot of people are struggling with that, but guys, that's our foundation is social media. That's where we connect with new people. That's where we build that trust is over social media. So if you're not seeing the results that you want to see, I want you to ask yourself, are you consistently showing up on your social media? Cause that is a big part of your, of your business is showing up on your social media. The reason why Christy gets a lot of leads and a lot of people signing up is because she shows her personality. She's vulnerable on her social media. She is relatable. She shares her story, right? Which your story, you know, is something that you should be very, very proud of. And you should know that somebody else needs to hear it, he needs to hear your story so that they can be inspired by your story so that they can know that they can go on another day living in this life right? there's hope so, uh, giving people hope every single day and if you're not sharing your story if you're not sh showing yourself up on on social media every single day and letting your followers get to know you this business is going to be very very hard for you right it's a big part of what we do in this business I decided I was never this social media girl before I decided, okay, if I want to make an income online, 
I'm, I know what I need to do. I know that I'm going to have to put my personality out there and I'm, I'm going to have to be authentically myself. And it's, uh, it's uncomfortable. You know, it's not something that I've ever done before, but I decided I show I'm, if, if I want the life that I want, I need to choose the uncomfortable path. And that's, and if it's going to be putting myself on social media, that's what I'm going to do because there's other worse things out there in the world that, you know, people can be doing. And all we get to do is show up as our true authentic self. And I just got chills. I just got chills. I can't believe we get paid to do what we do. By the way, you guys, I know that maybe me and Jasmine are not very relatable. Maybe you're seeing this version of me and Jazz where we're confident and you know we can do reels and we dance and we don't care. But guys, we were not like that at all. I wasn't like that at all. I was terrified. But you know what I did? I worked on myself every single day. I was doing... I was doing something every day that made me feel better, that made me feel more confident. You know, like those little wins, those little gains, each VIP, each market partner, each time you go live, it builds confidence. It's scary, but it builds your confidence. So do it often, do it every day. Posting a picture builds your confidence. I don't care if you get three likes. The fact that you did it, showing up on camera, it builds confidence because you're terrified. You might get a little anxiety attack, but you did it. And it builds your confidence. It's scary. It's uncomfortable, but it builds your confidence. And that's something that I do every single day. I try to work on myself, working out, studying builds my confidence. Journaling builds my confidence. Meditating because I have major ADD and I, it's really hard for me to meditate. And if I do it for five minutes, it builds my confidence because I got it done. So work on something every day that helps you build your confidence. Do a reel, go live, interview someone, host a call. You know how many people showed up to my first call, you guys? Three people, three people. And I was still shaking and crying and I, and I literally like, guys, I'm sorry, but I did it and it built my confidence. So make sure that you're celebrating every win and that you're working on you, on yourself and learning to love yourself, affirmations, gratitude, everything we always do. It builds your confidence and it helps you. And then you really get to a point that you don't care anymore. Like I, I used to record myself 20 times before posting a video. Now I record it and I post it. Like I don't even rewatch it. I put a little Paris. I definitely put on a filter, but I don't care anymore. If I stutter, I mess up, I'm human. Remember, we're not here to be perfect. We're here to inspire people how we get shit done with our imperfections. Exactly. And then you get to do whatever you want with your money. Okay, so now let's go into social media, which is pretty much what you were talking about. So go okay. ahead. Can so, I talk about personal brand real quick and then you go into reels? Go ahead, babe. <laughs> okay, so personal branding, guys, is everything. I always tell everyone that's new, write down five things that you want your personal brand to be. Again, I don't disagree with her and y'all know I never want to be one of those people who's like, I hate this person just for, you know, I hate them for this reason or, you know, I, I dislike this about this person. Therefore, I'm going to trash everything else about them. No. Listen, both these girls are absolutely beautiful. They both have gorgeous hair. They both have been very successful in network marketing. And they both are pretty damn good at social media. I still don't think it's ethical. I still don't like them as humans because of how they've made their money and what they're doing. And like I said, I'm not just going to be this person who's like, I hate everything they say, blah, blah. Because I don't disagree with what she's saying. I tell I, one question I get so much is, what are your tips for someone start one who wants to start a YouTube channel. First of all, yes, I learned a few things here and there from asking other creators if they actually answered. But then again, that was like six years ago when it was really hard to learn anything because like there weren't creators back then who were making these types of videos just showing like, hey, this is how I do this, this is how I do this. And I do that as well. I do that in my vlogs. But the thing is though, is that just Google it. And also just start, just start. Don't put all this pressure on yourself. Your first video, guess what? It's gonna suck. My first video was awful. And I watched, I watched a few of my videos from, I wanna say two, two years ago. Oh my God, no wonder I got, 100 to 200 views on videos back then. My audio was horrible. It was disgusting and I don't know what the hell I was doing. So, so bad. Like so bad, so bad. But that's what's gonna happen. Your first few videos are gonna suck and then, you know, I, I was awkward on camera and then I got better at it and I got better at it, got more comfortable and now I'm extremely comfortable on camera. More comfortable on camera than I am sometimes in front of people I don't know, which is ironic because I'm talking to people that I don't know, right? 
but that's my point is that she she's right. You get more and more and more comfortable. I wouldn't say it builds confidence per se, but it, it builds confidence in what you're doing, not necessarily in yourself because you can you can come on camera, you can be extremely comfortable in front of a camera and on social media, but you can be the most insecure person in the world. There are many Monate girls, many people in MLMs who are very comfortable on camera, posting all about themselves, doing live streams, doing all this, putting themselves out there, but they are miserable and extremely insecure. And that's really sad. They shouldn't be. They're both the ones I've seen are absolutely beautiful humans. And also if you're not comfortable being on camera, then don't be. Why do you think off-screen Tony is off-screen Tony? He's not completely comfortable being on camera. He doesn't like it. So that's why he's not on camera. And if he ever wants, if you, if you guys ever see Tony on camera, that's him telling me that he wants to. Giving informed consent, if you will. Can so, I talk about personal brand real quick and then you go into reels? Go ahead, babe. <laughs> okay, so personal branding, guys, is everything I always tell everyone that's new, write down five things that you want your personal brand to be, but stay true to yourself. Okay, for example, Jasmine, what would you say to your personal brand? Um, like how to create your personal brand? No, no, what is your personal brand? Your boss, your leader. Okay, so I love to inspire. So the first thing that you're going to see on my bio is um, a ca uh, like a little caption that I put. You'll leave my page with more confidence. Right. Ooh, so it, it brings people in and be like, I need confidence. Like I I'm struggling with confidence. Like what is she doing? That's helping people create, build confidence. So, and then the next thing is I love to dance. So I have, you'll see on my, on my highlights, um, I have like a, a, a dance, um, highlight. Um, I love to inspire again. I love to travel. I feel like that's not really your your brand you know like i don't know i feel like that's not really your brand those are just things that you like or things that you are i guess i don't really make sense right now <laughs> this this is stupid <laughs> this is the most useless i mean it's not the most useless training there's a little little few tidbits that i do agree with them but it's also like this is your orientation why isn't orientation just like normal training at any other job where you get to know each other, you get to know more about the company, you learn more about the products, you learn more about the compensation plan and how you're paid, and you learn more about like the system you have to use, which would be Instagram for them. That would be really helpful. Like what are they doing? Can I can I please can I please create a a training system for them? Please. Compliance would have to be in there too. Oh my god. Oh. As much that are like, you know, there are stay at home moms. And they're staying true to themselves because there's so many people out there that need to relate to you. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be like anyone else. You have to be like you. The more you that you are, the better. Because if you're trying to make a personal brand that is not true to who you are, people know. People smell commission breath. People know when you're just trying to make money out of them. So stay true to your personal brand. If you guys follow me, yes, you know, I go out, I have fun, I'm silly, I do reels, you know, it's, but at the same time, People know that I'm humble. People know that I take my business seriously and people know that I have a huge heart. But that is by me showing personality. I know all of you here are absolutely amazing, but so many of you are holding back in showing who you truly are. You hold back that amazingness that you have. And that's being selfish. The world needs you right now. The world needs more leaders right now. So don't be selfish with your awesomeness and start sharing it. And, you know, a really good way is reels. Reels are it right now. Jasmine is going to talk about that real quick. But anyway, I always tell to all the new people to please write down five things that you want your personal brand to be. And whatever that isn't, whatever it's not, that archive it, save it. The picture of your salad three years ago, it's not going to make you money. That picture of your, you and your cousins at a club, you know, 2018, that picture is not going to make you money. And it's not really who you are. The picture of you like i don't know like silly stuff your personal run is so important because i'm gonna i'm gonna say this one more time real quick the, the, the stephanie story when stephanie signed up all she had on her page were partying pictures partying pictures partying pictures and i literally saw her page and i'm like, oh, this girl's not gonna do anything like whatever i don't i don't even want to waste my time and then I, I went to breakfast with her and she tells me that she has three jobs that she's a therapist for kids that she goes to church that she goes to school that she's a boss 
And I'm like, Stephanie, that's the Stephanie that I want to work with. That's the Stephanie that people want to work with. But that's not what you're showing me on your social media. You're showing me that you party and that you're probably drunk every week. And why would I want to work with that? So that's the importance of your social media and your personal brand and taking it seriously. And then she rebranded herself, started showing up as the boss that she is. And then people are like, okay, this girl is legit. She can teach me something. Remember that, be honest with yourself. If you go to your Instagram right now, would you work with yourself? And if you, the answer is no, that's totally fine because you're new and we're here to train you. Um, but yeah, just, just put more effort into your social media and your personal brand. And now just go ahead, take it away about social media. Well, somebody asked like, how do you, um, what's the best way to show your true self on your social media so i a couple of weeks back i posted something on my social media teaching people how to make an impact using your ig stories um and this is what i do throughout the week and this is what helps me create that trust with my followers um so there's six different types of posts I'll go through it and I want you guys to take notes on this for whoever is new. If you guys have heard this before. I can definitely understand the treat this like a business or like a brand, right? I, I understand the aspect of that from the marketing aspect is what I mean. I understand that in terms of your page can't just be chaos if you're trying to attract sponsorships or followers i mean that's I mean, that's what you're trying to you know bring to your pages followers but who was gonna scroll all the way back to like seven years ago when you know i had posted a picture of a salad like why are you making me clear out my entire life so that it shows that i have my social media life like didn't exist before joining this company i hate that i cannot stand that but that's a lot of times what they have them do and it's so strange to me for whoever is new if you guys have heard this before and you guys have haven't done it listen again because this is what works for me and what has been working for months and months and months so the six different types of posts is value post okay um, value is helping people do things better and faster it's educating people it's inspiring people to feel good about themselves it's empowering people to make good decisions and take the right action. So um, it's on my Instagram for you guys. I, I put little examples um, like on what, what type, like how I post it. So the value post is number one. Um, I, I, I speak about make uh, mastering your emotions, how to have self-discipline, how to be more confident, stuff like that. The second type of post is personality post. Right. So your personality post is going to uh, get you to attract the people who are just like you. Right. So personality post, choose four things that make you you. You want to attract people who are just like you, because if you're trying to attract everybody, you're going to attract nobody. OK, so for me, personality posts, I'm here always dancing. OK, and people that love to dance can relate with me. OK, so. That's the second type of post. The first type is per, uh, value post, second type personality post. Third type is lifestyle post, okay? Be an entertainment factor, okay? Create content inspired by your personal interests and daily life or daily activities. So this is um, uh, an example of a lifestyle post of me going ATVing with my girls in Toronto, okay? That's a lifestyle post. So that's number three. Number four is engagement post. Okay. Engagement post is my favorite one because I literally don't even have to go and start conversations. People start conversations with me because of the engagement post. Okay. So engagement post is use all of Instagram's engagement tools to connect with your followers. This will create trust and it is a gateway to build relationships with your audience, okay? So for example, my Christmas tree today and I need your help. I am go going to go and get the ornaments today and I don't know what theme I should go for, rose gold or, j or red and gold. So let me- Like, is this video over yet? <laughs> they make these so long. Okay? 
So if you get, if you ask people for advice, they are going to DM you and be like, girl, I'm going with rose gold this Christmas. Go with rose gold. It's, it's the best. Da, 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 da. Guess what? You, they just started a conversation with you and now they're open to getting to know you, going back and forth in the conversation. And now you're building a relationship with your followers, right? So number four is the engagement post. The best one. I love doing them because everyone always gives their advice. Okay, number five is a business post. So showcase your business or products in an entertaining way. So um, using the unfold, using Mojo, so that um, so that now people are interested in in what you're doing because they are influenced by you after you've posted engagement posts, lifestyle posts, and value posts and personality posts. The last thing is number six is call to action posts. Okay, a call to action post is leading your audience to take action. Okay, this is the most generic shit <laughs> ever. You could just Google it. You don't need to join Monet to learn how to do social media well. There are people on Instagram who are giving away this information for free. And also, guess what? All over the internet, everywhere, people are giving this information out for free. They're taking a page out of Austin McGroom's book, How to Grow Your Social Media. Google it. You don't have to pay money for a membership or for this to find out. Just Google it. I have to scrub through this because it's so boring. Like, oh my, she's still going on about it. I'm not going to create that, but I'm going to create it into a business reel with the the theme of that, right? Oh. I'm so like, oh. <laughs> I have an idea, but I, I well, you'll see. You'll see. Tell me. You'll see. <laughs> okay, no, I want to say Jasmine is so good at making, because everyone on reels and tiktok they're dancing they're doing what's trending whatever and you know they just do it for entertainment but jasmine is so good at connecting it to the business for example that Jura challenge where you're whining with you know a glass of water in your cup we did it with the money product she said and then we fail so many times that she wrote actual um what is what you write actual a visual, a visual representation of entrepreneurship which is failing and failing your way to success. That's genius. But why she thinks outside the box, you know, she's always like thinking like, how can I, and, and that is, it's, I'm not going to say it's easy because I have a hard time doing that. I'm always calling her like, babe, how, what caption I need to caption. <laughs> but there's so many people you can mimic. You know, if you want to go ahead and copy the, the, the things that Jasmine does, go ahead and do it. You know, if, if you want to go ahead and do what Bianca, you know, um, Bianca, oh, who's, what's the other girl? Lucia. Lucia is so good at reels for money. Go mimic her. If you guys don't follow her, her name is, what's, what's her, what's her at? Lucia La Rosa. I forgot. I think it's Lucia La Rosa. She's so good at doing trending TikToks with the business. And yeah, that's her. Okay, perfect. Yeah, like you don't have to make it like guys, like you guys can literally take mine. Like for example, um, this one. Done, almost done. Um, belief is a huge part of this business. Okay, guys. I want you guys to understand that the reason why you guys aren't taking massive I mean, maybe you guys are taking massive action, but to the people that are struggling to take massive action and you're not really understanding why it's not clicking i'm going to tell you guys it's because of your belief okay belief is such a huge thing as to why the people who take massive action and people who don't take massive action don't is because of their belief system okay so for example she <laughs> she whenever she says people who take massive in my head, I'm like auto completing it. And I'm <laughs> saying people who take massive dumps. There's a difference between people who take massive dumps and people who don't take massive dumps. Okay. Are you the type of person that takes massive dumps? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> I took this from Tony Robbins. Okay. If you get yourself in a state of certainty, that taps into your map, like tapping into your getting, tapping into um, your potential. Right. And then after it'll take you to take massive action. And then after that, you will get great results. Right. And when you get great results, your brain tells you like, see, I told you I was capable. I told you that I could do this. 
right? But it's, it's tapping into the state of certainty. That's where it disconnects, right? Because a lot of people don't have that certainty. That's why they don't take massive action. So how do we, how do we tap into that? Right? The core difference in people is how do you produce certainty when the world isn't giving it to you? The core difference in people is how do you produce certainty when the world isn't given to you? So how do we help you get that certainty, right? You get results in your head, right? You get results in your head that made you feel certain that it's already done in your head, right? So that, the, the, and by doing that, you become obsessed, right? You uh, become obsessed with the dream life that you want. Right. For example, when I before I even got here, I already knew in my head that it was done. I already knew in my head I was driving my Kia Forte Coupe and I'm like visualing a nice Mercedes car, a nice car like 24 seven. I was stopping by big houses in Toronto and saying like this is going to be my dream house one day. Becoming obsessed with having that dream life. Right. So if you feel like you're not taking massive action and you're not um, showing up on social media, you need to increase that belief level within you because you don't have enough of it because you don't think that it's possible or the certainty isn't there. You're not certain that if I take this action and I put myself out, take myself out. So you just have to believe so hard that it is going to happen. So you just have to brainwash yourself. That's it. Super easy. And that's, that's what this business is all about. Give me results. You got to be so certain that by doing this, it's going to help you get to your dream life, right? So if you need to increase that belief, you need to have it in your head already that it's already done. I'm I already have that dream life. It's a matter of just getting getting it done now in 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 real in real time. Get putting it into action, going on social media, creating these reels consistently and knowing that by doing this is going to give you the results. Because what what if you're not po putting yourself out there and you're not posting yourself on social media we're, we're still in the same, we're still exactly where we are, where we don't, we don't want to be there. Right. You, if I, if we're giving you the sauce, like, trust me, if I really like, I, I like doing these reels is helping us a lot. Me and Sandra and Christy and everybody it's helping us a lot. We can like keep this to ourselves. Right. But we don't, we know that it works and we want you guys to win with us too. So if you know that it's working for us, why wouldn't it work for you? We got to, we got to start taking massive action and believing that if I can do it, if Christy can do it, if Sandra can do it, if the top leaders can do it, so can you, you are human being just like how I'm human being. You are a human being. I am human being. Ma'am, what? She's really struggling right now. And I feel bad because like, I like I don't want to make fun of her for, you know, like stumbling over her words and like not really making sense, but and repeating the same thing over and over again, but just like slightly different. But also I think it's important to, you know, clearly show like you can tell like she's uncomfortable. That's something that people do when they're uncomfortable. You trip over your words. I do that when reading aloud all the time because I get nervous because I'm dyslexic. But the thing is, is that they are taught that the only way that you are going to be successful with this is by putting yourself out there and doing things that make you uncomfortable. No, absolutely not. That would that would be like, what? That would be like saying the same thing to an influencer. That's not how that works. Absolutely not. I mean, y'all see on my Q&As all the time, people ask me like, oh, are you going to do this? Can you do this? Would you ever do a video about this? And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. So or if something makes me uncomfortable, absolutely not. No, I'm not going to do that either. So it's like, that's what they're told though, is that they have to, they have to do things that make them uncomfortable. And then that's the only way they're going to grow. And then it's just pushed back on them. Like, oh, well, you're not pushing yourself enough. You're not doing this enough. You're not posting enough. You're not, you don't believe enough. That's why you're not successful. And it's like, bitch, how do you know how much I believe or don't believe? You don't know. You're not in my, inside my brain. You have insecurities just like how I have insecurities. 
So you, each and every single one of you guys can do this. You guys just have to start believing in yourselves, taking massive action and doing the things that you guys are uncomfortable with because that creates confidence. So I want you guys to now take these real reels, um, social media um, tips, and I want you guys to now go out there and take massive I want you to go out there and take these massive dumps because that is what's going to get you success. It's the only way you're going to be successful is if you take massive dumps. No, that's not how you're going to be successful. <laughs> that's how you're annoying is what it is. You really think that most people look at your reels and all this all this misinformation and these lies that you post and you think that they instantly want to join you? No. No, most people are annoyed by it and they now are like on the lookout for you. Honestly, keep posting those reels and those obnoxious posts because then that just shows people what you actually do. You're in a pyramid scheme, you recruit people, that's how you make money. Doing reels is not going to make you successful. I've just now started doing reels and trying to do TikToks and I mean, the exact same thing, but like I just posted one today. Nice doing all right. It's okay, but I'm going to keep doing like one a week and I'm going to, you know, put effort into it and like try to make it good. And that's, I know that that will grow my social media and then that way it'll grow my YouTube channel. But like, I'm not trying to recruit my viewers. I don't see my viewers and my subscribers, my followers as leads. These people do because they just see you as a dollar sign and that's it. Um, Tips. And I want you guys to now go out there and take massive action because that is what's going to get you to the top. Okay. And that's pretty much it for me. I know we went over time here. Christy, you can close it up. <laughs> drop the mic. Drop the mic. I love that. I love this call today, babe. Thank you so much for giving so much value. So like she was saying, guys, you need to decide and you need to commit and you need to believe. Okay. Even with your insecurities, even if it might seem so far away, I remember joining this and thinking to myself, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I am going to be SCD. I wrote a letter to myself, which I challenge all of you to do write a letter to yourself that you're going to open in December, 2021. Okay. And congratulate yourself. I, I did it. And I sent it on the chat. I wrote a letter to myself and I said, girl, I am so freaking proud of you. I, that letter makes me cry. I'm not even going to talk about it, but I did it. i believed in it i decided and i committed okay unfortunately out of 400 people here only probably maybe i hope i really hope 10 percent are gonna get to scd i really hope so in six months we're gonna see who was really working so get to work take massive action because if you guys don't for all my competitive people out there me and jasmine are gonna take all your market partners and all your vips okay so i want all of you guys to outwork us if Jasmine is posting three reels a week, you should be posting five. If Jasmine is having two calls a day, you should be having three. If Jasmine is going live every day, you should be going live twice a day. Whatever it takes. We all have the same 24 hours. I know a lot of us have jobs. I like a lot of people do, but they make it happen. I have kids. You know, we all have the same 24 hours. It's what you're willing to sacrifice. Okay, I love you guys. Let's have an amazing month. Let's have a better year. I truly believe that in this organization, we're going to have at least, I don't know, maybe hopefully 50 SEDs by the end of the year. And I cannot freaking wait. I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing day. Get to work. Bye. Bye, babe. I love you. I just don't understand how they like take themselves serious. I mean, money, money is how they take themselves seriously. The people at the top, I mean, it's just so, so unfortunate that people fall for this and that people really think that this is like what they should do because it's such a cult culture and such just a, a cult mentality. The way that these girls treat people when they leave the MLM is absolutely horrifying. So horrifying. I've had so many people tell me how awful it is. And that like that was that was your orientation. That was your first call. That was for new people. They said it at the beginning, that was for new people. So what did you learn? You learned that you have to post on social media. You have to believe so much. You have to double your goals. Um, you need to, I was drawn, I was doing doodling so I didn't really take a whole lot of notes but um that you have the golden ticket that this is the opportunity of a lifetime you have to believe you have to separate yourself from your family and friends work 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 and that's it oh but you have time freedom but you have to be able to make huge sacrifices yeah so if you're 
if if you're making those huge sacrifices, when when it, when is it enough? When do you get the time freedom? When do you get the financial freedom? When you get to the very 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 top and you have like 70 people under you who are also at the very top, is that when you get the financial freedom and the time freedom that they all talk about? I, I guess there's only a few people at the very very top that I actually see, like that I don't really see like on social media that much anymore. It's it's crazy. So anyways, I hope y'all liked this video. I know these like the Zoom call ones typically do really well. And I think it's important to really show again, pull back the curtain, but really show the difference between like the opportunity calls and what they're promising you to try to recruit you versus what you actually get when you're in a team call. Because usually it's nothing really of value and it's just culty shit to try to get you to stay in. And sure, maybe like the one on ones, they'll, I don't know, maybe teach you what you like the numbers and what you actually have to do numbers wise to get to where you want to be. But it sounds like it's just all about believing in yourself and being your best friend and taking massive actions and massive dumps. Good God. All right, guys, please do subscribe. I am trying very hard to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of this month. That's really my goal for the year. I was being a, I was being a little bit cocky and I was trying to hit it um, by September 1st. That didn't happen. That's okay. That is a-okay. Um, but subscribe. About 36% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Maybe they are, don't have a YouTube account or they don't think they do. If you have a Gmail, a Google account, you have a um, YouTube account. So feel free to just sign in, click subscribe, turn on those notifications. I've been trying to get out a lot more content for y'all. I've been very busy though, doing research and interviews and just other type of like admin work and stuff. So I've been slacking a little bit, I feel like. I mean, not, not even, not really. I've been posting a lot of videos still, but I appreciate y'all so much. I hope you are excited for what is in store over the next two, next two to three months. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember that you are amazing. You are valuable. You are so important and your feelings are valid. No is a full sentence. Create those boundaries. I'm sure you can probably hear Wiggum snoring right now, even with this new mic. It's like not supposed to pick him up, but it probably will still because he's snoring quite loud. That's okay though. Alrighty, so I'll see you on my next video, which will most likely be tomorrow or the next day, unless today's Friday, because as y'all know, I don't post on Saturdays or Sundays. Okay, bye.